Yong, a young man who also chose to travel to Tonka because of his friend's persuasion to work as a laborer. Dan Sheng Yong, a 15-year-old boy who is very thin and has pale white skin, can't imagine about what might happen in the future. A lot of people believe that Chinese people who came to seek fortune in Tonka or Phuket for the past 100 years had been successful in life. Most of them are rich and were able to be owners of tin mines. On the other hand, there are still some who failed and became unsuccessful. Some who came and end up being carriers, laborers, water carriers, or even beggars. Some were addicted to weeds and gambling. From now on, the story will focus on a Chinese migrant's life who came to seek fortune in Tungka. Finally, Dan Chengyong gets to work in a tin mine as a laborer, as well as other sin cats who came. He worked eight hours a day under the burning sun and the pouring rain. Every day he must walk across unstable bridges with a heavy load of tin on his shoulders. His two legs can barely stand and shakes with toleration. Dan Cheng Yong works very hard. Sometimes he faints in the middle of his work, though he is still lucky that he is allowed to eat three meals a day. He kept working very hard so he could save enough money to start a new life. Dan Cheng Yong is not a person who would drink, smoke weeds, or gamble. In the night, he quickly goes to sleep so he could gather enough energy to work at the break of dawn. He must fight. Fifteen years later, now 30 years old, Dan Cheng Yong has enough money to start having a family. He decides he will marry a native Phuket woman. His friend's wife, named Lian Bi, helped him find a woman who is kind-hearted and diligent. Lian Bi introduces Dan Cheng Yong to So Xiu, who is a daughter of a butcher. Dan Cheng Yong likes her diligence, so he decides he will marry So Xiu. Ong Tian Su, who is So Xiu's father, feels happy for So Xiu because he knows that Dan Cheng Yong is a good person. He knew that Dan Cheng Yong is diligent and can take care of his daughter. He knew other qualities from the Umlang, who is the matchmaker. So Xiu and Tan Cheng Yong married and they both live in happiness. Tan Cheng Yong and So Xiu have two sons and three daughters. Because of Tan Cheng Yong's diligence, he is able to improve himself from a hard-working laborer to a jackpoy shop owner. 
that sells almost everything. He owns a junk for trading from Tunka to Kantan. He is a good example for his sons and daughters. Everyone in the family helps each other. They give their money to charity and do many beneficial things for society, such as building a school and building a hospital. Tan Ching Yong told his sons and daughters that this land has made him and everyone in the family happy. He feels comfortable here and is happy to do things for society. Though in the future he may pass away, everyone must keep this land prosperous from now on and forever. to invite you all to sing Phuket is my hometown together.